Uh, hi, hello viewers. Uh, my name is Huck. Uh, I would like to welcome you all to our YouTube channel on behalf of the company Web and App Tech. Um, I also would like to welcome you all on our free web designing online tutorial course uh, for those who want to learn how to make a website effectively and efficiently. Um, we divided our course uh, into three modules, beginners level, intermediate level, and certificate level. Um, so it will be continuous uh, process. Uh, I mean, it will be a continuous online training, which will be carried out at our channel. So please uh, subscribe our channel. Uh, to watch all these videos uh, uh, which will be uploaded regularly until we finish our course um, we will use actually HTML5 CSS and JavaScript to finish our uh, this intensive website designing course In, I'm, I can assure you one thing that uh, after uh, you watch all these videos of this training you will be able to design a website very efficiently, effectively, and very easily. Uh, however, um, during the course, if you have any questions, um, you can always ask me uh, on your comment. I'll definitely try to reply you as quick as possible as I can. Okay so uh, let's get started hi hello uh, welcome back uh, let's get started um, with this course uh, at the beginning uh, you need um, um, a notepad uh, uh, which is uh, editor uh, is by default is provided by the windows so you will already if you have a windows already uh, you will uh, you will have that notepad by default in your computer or laptop or on the other hand you all uh, you also can use uh, uh, Microsoft Studio Visual Studio Auditor to make all this um, HTML code so uh, to get that you need to download from uh, from the Google Chrome browser is actually open source so let's let's uh, download the um, studio visual studio code editor first you go to the Google page uh, write down like um, let's go to the new page and write down visual studio editor actually created by Microsoft company and it's a free open source so you can download easily just click here on the download link then it will start download after that it takes takes you this page in this page you will click on Windows if you have Windows in your laptop or if you have a Mac uh, you need to click here or if you use Linux you need to click here or here for us for me actually it is windows so click here uh, it will yeah here you can see this already started uh, to download it so once it will download um, we need to uh, set it up after you finish uh, set it up then um, you need to uh, create your folder in your computer where you want to keep your website um, files so while it is downloading let's doing let's do that uh, folder creation uh, for for me let's let's go to the to the uh, where I can download okay uh, I, I have selected uh, my different folder here uh, on different drive uh, let's say I'm 
I want to create a website page you know making a website here into this drive and I'm making a folder and my website here we go so I need to remember where I have created this folder it's a H drive in my computer so let's go back to the Google page yeah it's already downloaded Visual Studio Code so just click on it here now it will open and all you need to do just install it it's very easy simple process it's saying setup has detected the visual studio code is currently running and that means actually i already d uh, uploaded in my laptop because i'm doing this stuff always so that's why this message is giving me for in your case it might not be it will be just a straight away it will ask you uh, to 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 follow the instruction to download just just to follow follow the instruction is very easy and simple thank you so in that case uh, for me i'll i'll press cancel because I already have it right so once you download uh, you will have either a shortcut key into the desktop or you can open it from program files which I assuming that you know how to open the program and for me I want, I'm gonna show you from here in my desktop uh, the Visual Studio where I okay yeah it's here Visual Studio code as you can see okay uh, it's already here so anyway let's let's go to I'll go back uh, to to the folder that uh, I created um, I created my folder here so once you created the folder what you need to do put the cursor here click on the right button of the mouse then it will show you this menu from here just press open with code then it, the visual studio code editor will be open <clears throat> right it's opening taking a bit time um, is because it's some of the um, Visual Studio uh, page already open okay it's saying yes yeah click here uh, yes I trust this author just click yes okay so after you open this editor it will be looks like this and make it maximize then close this because it's just all information um, which actually don't need at this moment uh, update they're asking for updates removing get started that one also I don't need all I need you as you can see on the um, left side um, bar there is the folder name is here where actually I created my folder which was uh, into the H drive in my laptop so the folder name is here so that means this folder is already open automatically into the Visual Studio so whatever you want to make you can make it from here whatever the files you will make here it will all will be automatically saved into the my website folder is that make sense um yeah so uh let's um make a page first page of your website that you will be designed with me so right click on the on the field here on you click it it will give you this kind of uh border um, blue ink border and then click
click on the right side of your mouse then it's saying new file new folder and blah 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 other things so ignore everything because you are new creating a new file at this moment new file of your website page so just click on new file now uh, the name of your um, first page of your website say for example it's a home page so write down home dot h t m l uh, you need to write dot html is because um, html is the code that we will use um, to make this website so you need to uh, uh, write down dot html so as soon as you write it it will create a website page look alike like this now all the code that you will write on the right side here so there is a there is one easy way that uh, you can uh, create the page format there is a st structure or kind of like oh, how, how can I can I explain it it's like a format of each of the uh, uh, website page of the HTML format which is coming by default um, once you press exclamation sign as you can see here and then press enter you see the format of the website page came out so this is the standard format of a website page so uh, what we will edit uh, as we will need it like say for example here uh, HTML beginning tag so this is the left arrow as you can see left arrow here is the right arrow in between these two um, sign we have uh, there is a uh, code called HTML lang means language in in means English so that means this whole page will follow the English language and then head starting I mean this is the beginning tag it's called beginning tag and this is the meta it's a beginning tag of the meta meta is the other uh, internal information uh, that uh, you need to uh, just just uh, you don't you don't need to know at this moment because you you are in the beginning stage it's will be uh, too much for you just just uh, get get the information that um, you, this is how it should be that's it uh, what is it to know this you need other more uh, knowledge to understand those so at this moment you don't need to so I'm ignoring this so title here title means what will be the title of your page like on my side I'm writing this is this is the page of uh, it's called home so I'm, I'm going to write down here home page that's the title of the page okay and here is as you can see this is the head beginning tag and this is the head closing tag that means everything about on um, meta and the title everything should be inside the head tag so closing this is closing tag and this is beginning tag and then after that after head tag finish body tag will start this is the body which means the main body of of your website page home page whatever you will create inside the body it will be vis visible into the your uh, page into your page so how it's written as you can see body is beginning tag and then it's body closing tag this closing tag would be at the 
end of your all um, creation that you want to make inside the body. After you finish all your work uh, inside the body, uh, you can you need to write closing text. So every every uh, beginning text must have closing text. Otherwise, the code will not gonna work. As you can see, body has the body closing text. This is the HTML closing text which was uh, written at the above at the beginning so here is the close finishing starting tag okay so uh, the, uh, this is just a format uh, that I have explained so far uh, of an HTML page uh, in in my um, next video uh, I will start working on it um yes i will start working on it that how you actually can um, make the other things like heading making text any kind of text designing it coloring it then how to make the table how to add the image how to add the um, audio video into your website and so and so so that that's it so far